Hi there, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all of the on-screen menus and the full setup menus within the TXNR686. Now I've put timestamps up on screen to show you whereabouts the different menus are. And don't worry, I'm not going to be talking all the way through this video. I'm just going to butt in and explain a few bits and pieces here and there as and when I feel it's needed. And now that's done, let's get on with going all the way through the setup menus of the TXNR686. Now the Dolby Vision option will only come on if you have the HDMI main out set to both main and sub. Then you'll have to select which of the HDMI outs you want the Dolby Vision to be passed through to. You can assign any of the HDMIs to any of the inputs, but please bear in mind that HDMI can only be paired to one particular input or label. Now if you intend to use the analog component or composite video inputs, you need to make sure there is no HDMI assigned to the particular input or label that you want to use. Now just to make you aware, the only analog input you can't reassign is the phono input and that's due to there being a moving magnet phono equalizing board built in inside. And before we get into the speaker setup, I just thought I'd let you know that the built-in AccuEQ room calibration will correctly and accurately set up the system for you, so you don't really need to do any of the next part manually. One thing to note when using Dolby Atmos speakers is there are only some selections are available to you when you're using the Dolby Atmos up firing speakers and you'll see these later on in the menus.
if you are using Dolby enabled speakers, you need to go into this menu, set the distance from the speakers to the ceiling as it requests, and then you can turn the AccuReflex on and it will take into consideration those extra time delays and process the signal correctly for you. If your subwoofer does actually go below 20 Hz and has a large power amplifier built in, then by all means please activate Yes on the Select or Ultra THX subwoofer. If you're actually running a standard 7.1 speaker system, then inside the THX audio menus, you will actually have the option of the specification of the surround back speakers and what actual distances they are away from each other. Now the Intelli volume is actually source specific, so you will actually have to make sure that the source you want to adjust is the source that you have selected there and then. And what this will enable you to do is increase or decrease the relative input volume of that particular source. So when you switch across all of your inputs, they all are relatively the same volume. So when you switch from one to the other, you don't get increases or decreases in the relative volume between inputs. In the quick menu, there's a level adjustment for the center and subwoofer. Now these are temporary. Once you've adjusted them and you turn your receiver off and back on again, they will default back to the original setting. Well, thanks for watching this long video. And if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.